Welcome to Showtime 49. Welcome to Showtime 49. What's good, y'all? I appreciate y'all for coming back to the show. As y'all see today, I got a couple of guests lined up for y'all. One returning member, Fireman Ronnie. As y'all know, we had him Ooh. on Cowboys Week. And we had a sorry Cowboys fan that was here at the time. <laughs> but that was G-Money. We ain't worried about that. Now we got wrong over here. I know you see it, but <laughs> <laughs> this is a Niners fan. And he knows plenty about... <laughs> Our team and what's going on, and you see what he's about. Show him one more time. Show him one more time, wrong. Anything is possible. It is. <laughs> it is. You know, anytime. Any <laughs> <laughs> gotta love it. But yeah, so we here today. We here to talk about this Eagles week. This is the one we've been waiting for. The moment they put out the schedule, this is the only thing that mattered. I mean, of course, we cared about the Cowboys, but not so much. We was worried about the Eagles because of what happened to our quarterback, all the mess that's been being talked on Twitter back and forth. And I was finally here. This feels like the in-season Super Bowl right now, even though it's two NFC teams. But I'm saying this is a big one. This going to mean everything to us. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to start talking about these defensive strengths and weaknesses on both sides. So, Wong, I know you knew us to the show. So I'm going to go ahead. I want you to let me know. What defensive strengths do you see on the Eagles and on the Niners side? Which is the Eagles, Which one do you want to do first? Niners? Strengths. The strengths of the, of the Eagles, and then you can go to the Niners after that. Uh, defensive line for the Eagles looks pretty good. They got a pretty solid pass rush. Uh, Niners is obviously better, and I think we're going to get through. You might see Hurt, Hurts go down the time, maybe more. And that's going to be critical that he does. The back end of that uh, defense has to keep Devontae Smith out of the uh, end zone, and I don't know if that's possible. You know, our DBs have been looking better, but, you know, those guys getting home, that'll make a big difference, a bigger difference. So Philly, I agree with that. Yeah. As far as Philly's concerned, defensive line is good. I think their uh, linebacking core is a little suspect. I think we can work Kittle into this game plan a little more, but, I, you know. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be a gimme, obviously. We circled this game for a reason. So, Agreed. Yeah. I definitely agree with you saying, especially because I, I agree with that Kittle part. I think this is a big Kittle game. And I know they have speed out there, so I feel like this might not be the biggest Debo game, but I could clearly see it being a, a Kittle game and a Christian McCaffrey game because we know almost every game is his game regardless. But when he comes out that backfield, it's usually those linebackers that's lining up against him somebody in the slot and it's just not going to work, you know? Yeah, so this week and yeah, not this week and their, their passing game, our passing game now is a lot better, especially against their defense. That's not been as good this year. Last year they were destroying. I think they had about 75 sacks or something like that at this point. They only had like 40 something somewhere around there and they're passing mm -hmm. their, their defense against passing touchdowns 31st in the league. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, this this could turn out to be something that people are not really paying attention to. Like, I know that this is a, a good team, of course, Super Bowl caliber, and they're 10-1 and for a reason. But I just feel like they're a very opportunistic team. I feel like when the moment comes and they're supposed to shine, they do, which is what differs between us and them. We haven't won a close game. One other thing for the uh, defensive line, that middle is going to have to – really rush the middle because Hertz, you know, gets up the up that middle a lot. They like to run that draw. Yeah. So I don't know how aggressive they can be and still contain him in the you know in the middle. You know, outside I'm not worried about. You know, yeah. Wilson Young, that's that's a lock. The middle would be the question. So so basically we'll Javon Hargrave, who was that ex Eagles member, Eric Armstead and all them gonna have to step up and yeah. try to do something against this this rushing game that they're so good at. But they yeah, don't forget about Ken Law too. Yeah, Been pretty stout. Yeah, he has been having a better year this year. But now I want to hear your take on it, Fireman Ronnie. Oh uh, yeah, I think um, the Eagles—they are good. They ten and one for a reason. 
their their defensive line is it stacks up with ours but i think we are a little bit better it's the um the linebackers basically is where i feel we're like over the top on them as far as what our defense compared to each other so when you look at this game with i think it's gonna go our linebackers are gonna be a huge factor in it i think they have to take care of when Jalen hurts takes off with it so you need warner kind of the coverage guy and then greenlaw the hammer make him think about it when he comes so i think just with looking at both defenses if our linebackers get off the way i think they will in this game oh yeah we come yeah. so you think we maybe come. like thinking frail warner is like a spy in a way on jalen hurts to make sure he don't get off um uh, i mean kind of but i want greenlaw to be the assassin go get yes, him. he should be because he because he tackles by he is that guy for us hey go hey i don't care about that penalty <laughs> yeah get right get that's, it. that's he, what i want to see go he get it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta bring up pay a little bit you know that that happened to us the yeah. assassin smoked us so i ain't mad i want our assassin to smoke him mm -hmm. so i think green law coming to make a, a aggressive hard tackle That'll send a message. He might not want to do so much running against us on Sunday. So oh, we'll see. Yeah. But yeah. I think overall, you know, it's two good teams battling. But I kind of feel like business as usual. I'll let you know how I feel in the end, but I think business yeah, we as got usual. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. last time, side note, last time this man predicted a score, <laughs> he said the Niners wasn't going to kick no <laughs> field goals. <laughs> Cowboys and score 42. Man, I got a pulse on my boys. I got a he pulse on them. Yeah. <laughs> he did I'll be it. in and Philly. I, you know, I feel it. And that's, and that's another Philly. thing. This man, Fireman Ronnie, will be in Philly at the game. So look for him. He's going to be wearing all white in the Eagles. <laughs> look for my boy. He going to be there. Well, you know what? I've been looking at that weather. It may not be all white guys for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I look like I have to bring out the big guns. I'm a California boy through and yeah. through. I, I, I'm we playing that to cold. Got to get to a Niner white goose down or something. So Man. Be... <laughs> we gonna have I got to. something close, though. I, Man, I know close. you do. Know. <laughs> It'll be able to stop me. It won't be hard it's to stop leg. me, though. It's a full length Mark. What's that? Is it a full length jacket? It's not like a short one. Is it all the way down to your ankles and shit? <laughs> You know, I got two heating blankets at the job. I don't play in that cold, man. Uh -uh. <laughs> you do. You sandwich yourself right in between that. <laughs> uh -uh. I got to bring out the big guns. That weather don't look right to me. But you'll definitely notice me out there. I'll be there. Yeah, we know. You're going to be. I'm on the evil side this here. week. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give it to him, here. too. Let us win. <laughs> I'm going to give it to him. Yeah. Ooh. He Man, like I'm, that. He liked to go with fans, so we could both be unprofessional then. That's good. Yeah, it's gonna look worse on him anyway. That's might oh, yeah. be that might be Way where worse. your big break comes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Getting into it with old Siri. Somebody get this man a sponsor. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get one of the fireman in commercials, huh? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> come on, Uber Eats. Somebody come to yeah. come on. He was the originator. Look I'll at this helmet. Detail. Detail. <laughs> detail. Better believe it, baby. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about our DBs. So yeah, lately we know that Charvarius Ward has been he's been playing pretty good the last couple of games. But if we had to rank them on a full season span, it's been up and down. Like our secondary hasn't been nothing to be proud of up until recently. Now mm -hmm. I know we just lost a Funga for the rest of the year, and then we got yeah, yeah. that Dyer Brown out there, who yeah. I personally love. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's going to be a good test because I, I, we it's know we don't have little, uh, on, on AJ Brown and he actually didn't play that well against us in the NFC championship. He only had a couple catches. He didn't, he really didn't play that well. And if Shanahan would have maybe challenged the catch for Devontae Smith, maybe, you know, maybe things would be different, but I am, we'll, we'll talk about that later. 
yeah, so, you hate, like, you, huh? you can remember exactly what you was doing when it's blunders like that. <laughs> as soon as you brought that play up, I was like, <laughs> oh man, you know the exact spot you was in, me right back <laughs> into that moment, <laughs> man. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get too sad today, you know, because that one, that one, was tough. yeah, that hurt, that hurt, that was tough. oh man. But given right. our DBs now, their DBs, you know, they got a lot of back and forth going on with our receivers and all, all those things. So how do you think we're going to pan out against A.J. Brown, against Devontae Smith? You know, they, they don't have Goddard, so their tight end is already out of the question. How do you feel about that, Ron? Um, uh, DBs are playing a lot better. I don't know what happened. I mean, Brown is in, and we're not missing a beat. Um, and on the Oliver's outside, Amber- off the field. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and Ambry Thomas is, you know, sol- kind of solidified that other corner spot. So, and then, you know, Oliver is there and this goes Lynn Wall. You know, so we got some backup. We can go seven or six if they start really having to open it up. And we need to, you know, we, we need more DBs in the, in the field. Um, I'm nervous about their offensive weapons. I mean, Swift is so quick. I mean, I don't even know what we're going to do with that guy, you know, and Devontae Smith, I mean, He's a known quantity. He gets to the end zone. So who's going to – we're going to do the same thing again, put uh, Ward on him the whole game? Like we had to get nah, he's going to have to guard AJ. That's, you know, so, I mean – so Now we got to focus on, like you said, Ambry Thomas. Like you said, he solidified it, but we also know what his weaknesses are, which is That's penalties. It. Yeah. Big-time penalties. So, and Yeah. Yeah. So the front line, I mean, the defensive line has to get there and the back end has to hold up, you know, and I think that takes your safeties out. You know, they can't come up to the line and, and play tighter, you know, to give support to, you know, that little screen they run with Swift. So That's but true. I think our DBs are playing better. I'm ha- I'm happier with the play, you know. I think I miss Wakunga, but, I mean, Brown is I, – I can't even – I didn't even know he was there last week. And that's exactly. what you want. Right? Exactly. I mean, that's all he you didn't do. stand out in a negative way. Yeah, he was wearing a whole bunch of penalty flags, you know. Yellow doesn't look good on him, you know. So, <laughs> so, so you know, I mean, he Not did his job. None of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. pretty happy with our, 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 our defensive backfield, finally. You know, I think it's yeah. actually might come around, you know, really come around, you know. But I, I, okay, so here's another question How much of it is a defensive line? How much of it is the pressure? You know, that's yeah. got to help. Yeah. You, know, you need all of that. Teams. You do. Can't throw then, yeah, because with Jalen Hurts, if he has time, like that's when the issue happens. So yeah. the way that our defensive line is going to be, they have to apply pressure. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to be asking Charvarius Ward, who is another penalty waiting to happen, Ambry Thomas, Diamador Lenore, to hold on for that extra second or two. And that's not what we need. We don't yeah. need to, yeah. them to be holding on for those extra seconds against those type of weapons that we're going up against. Because Jalen Hurts is going to find a way. And he yeah. usually well, does. So well, if he doesn't like, what he wins it. hand in hand, for real. He's dangerous. I'm worried, but uh, I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe that pressure. Don't you, you know? worry, wrong. Don't <laughs> you worry. Yeah. Go ahead, Fireman worry. Ronnie. Let's don't see how you, you feel worry. about these, about our secondary. Well, our secondary, they decent, but they great when we get the pass rush, just like y'all was talking about. And since they added that boy Chase, I'm telling you, the Ohio State boys as a package, yeah, they've been doing dirt since they got together. So that's why I'm not really worried about our DBs because I know they're going to continue to do some dirt this week. It's going to be uh, Young's third time facing the Eagles this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's time oh, to go. Yeah. Yeah, he know these tackles. Yeah, he so knows exactly what's going on. Yeah. And it ain't like they he going to keep a secret from his boy. <laughs> they all <laughs> over him. I'm telling you. That's it. What right has there. to happen, though, is when he does escape, when we get up the field too much, that happens in football. The hammer has got to be dropped with Greenlaw. And I'm telling you, when he do that a couple times or you get that penalty, that's a problem. They, so when you start thinking, like, where the hell is 57 at? <laughs> start thinking about that, it's tough this. to get that ball down the field. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think that's how we play it. You got to let that hammer drop on them. And when it does, it's a problem. I know it. I it personally hurts. think we're going to force a pick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think about to say, he, he's turnover prone. He's turnover prone. We can go get him. Yeah. So, yeah. 
that's what I think with our secondary. It's everybody in front of them to do their job. And they'll be all right. They're serviceable. I ain't going to say nobody's great. Nobody's a pro bowler. I ain't seen that. But right. I've seen enough to where if that front seven is doing what they supposed to do, oh, yeah, yeah. we good. Yeah. That's how they built the team. So I'm okay with it. And then yeah, didn't man. we get a couple of uh, young Thundercats, Looter and them? Didn't they just get activated too? Yep. You might yep. see yep. some of these uh these pups get in there, man. Yeah, and and, and on top of that, they can't game plan for them. You know, that's if they, if they come about. in there, they have they have no idea what type of traits they bring to the table. Man. The Niners know, but nobody yeah. else knows. So yeah. I feel like we got an advantage there. And I yep. mean, at the end of the day, the Eagles secondary. I mean, I, like I said before. They're 31st and giving up passing touchdowns. Oh, they, yeah, they, they, they've given up over 500 yards, I think, over three times this year. They kind of built like us. They they need their front seven to perform, but they linebackers, yep, D yeah. line, good. But if you're not right. getting home, then guess what? You're going to give up matter. yards like that. Because you know, I know Jack Dash Allen, they was rolling. Yeah. Yeah, Dak tore him up. Sam that. Howell tore him up. Yeah, you know, every, everybody going to tear them up when you got them old legs out there and then the boys up front ain't doing their job. That's yeah. what it comes down to. You need that front seven to handle it. And I'm sorry, they don't got it, that linebacker. And then and they we D-line, we'll see. Now too. So, yeah. they, that time they're going to need to get us, as long as Brock get that ball out, which he usually does. Oh, I was about I, to say, you know that's I, happening. Y'all I don't see about it. I don't see it. And all that. Uh-uh. You know what's mm-hmm. happening. We going back to the damn well, as we usually do. My boy playing Madden with the fatigue off. It's about to be McCaffrey, <laughs> McCaffrey, 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 yeah. McCaffrey, McCaffrey, <laughs> yeah. McCaffrey. Yeah. Run yeah. and catch it. Run and catch it. And do you got the horses to stop that? No, you don't. Right. You and ain't they, got no I mean, linebackers. And your safety ain't going to do it. I'm sorry. And they giving up. Over 30 points multiple times, you know, we don't we don't do that. We scored yeah. 30. So I'm expecting our defense more of the same. a little better. Our defense yeah. a little better than theirs. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would say overall, our defense is definitely a little bit better than that. I would I mean I want to say a lot of bit, but given what the numbers are, it looks that way. It looks like we're a much better defense right now. But absolutely. But I understand some of their numbers being so off because they are usually winning. So they yeah. they they're battle tested. You know, so they're playing against some elite quarterbacks that are trying to come back in the game. So they're just throwing and throwing and they're giving up yards, giving up yards. Yeah, yeah. The thing that worries me about them is just they find a way to win somehow. Even though all like their their 10 and one record is probably like the weakest 10 and one record I've ever seen. Like I'm not scared of it like normally I would be. Like I yeah, feel yeah. like this year we I'll play them. I feel more confident this year us playing them than I did in the NFC Championship last year. Healthy or not, I feel better about it this year. We know a little bit more about Brock and and they're know, not as good on defense. They, no, they lost a few guys. Hell, we got one of them. So no, yep. I get that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I give them this: they quarterback, like you said, battle tested, yep. a little more experience than our quarterback. Yep, and. He's been finding a way to win, so I have to give him that. And yeah. he's kind of got like that, damn near that trait we were looking for in uh, Lance, like yes. with the kind of the legs, the arm, yes, be able to throw that deep ball, and then being calm. You know, in the in the late part of the game, I watched that boy on TV. I said, "Wow, look at how poised he looked." Yeah. <laughs> and then straight face, just no, no sweat off his ass when he walks it in for the walk off. No, nope. okay, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I'm gonna just run up in here and I'm gonna look at yeah. y'all and be like, "Yeah, I do this," and I'm gonna walk yeah. away and put another W. Mm-hmm. That's like, why I said we down, gotta hit him. Know? We gotta hit him. <clears throat> I'm telling you, you make him think about where that damn 57 is. Then that poise go away a little bit, that calmness go away. So I think he's gonna be very he's gonna be very comfortable on the pocket, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's where our goal should be. Our goal should be to make him uncomfortable in the pocket as much as possible. Because I mean generally just being a human, you gonna make more mistakes when you're under pressure. It is what it is. And then get socked when you get out of that pocket, get socked. We have yeah. to make Just it real. Stay in that out of We're dangerous yeah. out here. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's pretty, he's like, way he more slide. dangerous out of it. I've seen him do that a lot. He slides perfectly fine. He's he's definitely into self-preservation. You know? Oh, so. yeah. Nah, <laughs> he, he's a sharp kid. 
He is sharp, yeah. kid. Yeah. And yeah. you better. That's how we better make him feel. Like, you better get down. But take that yeah. cheap shot. I ain't mad at you, Green Law. Go get it. Fireman Ronnie yeah. said it's okay this week. <laughs> already built that first few yards. Oh, I think they did there. Oh, <laughs> I think they did there. <laughs> All right. Well, since we own it, let's let's get into more detail about these wide receivers. You know, yeah. so we you know we we got Debo, we got Ayuk. You know, I mean, we got Jawan Jennings. You know, he third and Jawan. He shows up every now and then. He's like one of the guys that's on the team that's supposed to be rough and blocking and all that stuff. But he yeah. kind of is like an extension of a tight end in a way. But whatever. We yeah. got him. We got Kittle. Christian McCaffrey. Like, this is all stuff as a part of the pass game because we know our running backs are a part of the pass game. Well, so March, we're going to have weather, right? So yes. that, affects our, that, affects, that affects a lot. Grip on the ball. Are we going to be able to throw? What's the condition of the field going to be like? I mean. I yeah, I think that rain is not supposed to happen during the game. It looks like before the game. It's been changing a little bit. Okay. But uh, the conditions of the field, we'll see how that is, you know. But I'll take a, kind of a slower track anyway with what they do. So we'll see. You know, I want us to be able to grind it out and just mush them with McCaffrey for uh, 60 minutes. If we are able to do that, I think that we good. Yeah, so <laughs> to me, like yeah, let, let that rain come. But stop. Don't get on me <laughs> during the game. <laughs> I hope the Don't way rain on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope the way it's say right now, it should be over with by the time the game starts. But slower track, I think that might play into our favor with what we do compared to what they do, you know. Yeah, as long as that – that turf isn't, or not turf, as long as that grass isn't affecting the way they're, they can cut, you know, because that's going to have a lot to do with these wide receivers, especially somebody like Ayuk, who's a great route runner, you know, A.J. Brown and stuff like that. That's That affects our separation on kind of get open. I really don't want to be in, like, a dogfight game like that with them, with them being at home, given what we've been doing with this team. Because we haven't, yeah. like I said, we haven't won a close game yet. And – Philly has done that's all they've done so I don't really even <laughs> want to get into that but and we shouldn't yeah we shouldn't because if we run in the ball and that ball control and doing what we're supposed to do we should be up a couple scores at halftime we should be especially yeah. if uh we receive first and ram it down their throat that's that's what one of my predictions is we will take a... the ball and then ram it down their throat and get on them and I think if we continue that you know just keep running the ball. Because to be honest, if I'm counting on IU, then that means I'm down and we ain't doing what I think the game plan should be against them. So I, IU, love you to death, but I don't think Sunday is your game. I think this is a <laughs> run the ball, McCaffrey, 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 McCaffrey game. <laughs> I'm so not, you, a passing game for you to, not a passing no. game for you this week, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. You could throw it to McCaffrey. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Pass it to him. Do that. Right. But if, if, if we throw it to it. our receivers out there a lot, uh-uh. I don't know. So you thinking I mean, quick hitters, McCaffrey, Kittle? Kittle. Yeah, it's yeah. Kittle. I mean, once they once they start getting over aggressive on McCaffrey, sure. You get play some action Kittle in Kittle there. real yeah, quick. Yeah. I don't know about that play action. No, <laughs> they the play action. 42 fake last year. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> one of my questions. Is like, what are you, who are we going to block Hassan Reddick with? You know, like, what are we, what's our plan with him? Because if we, if we run play action, which is kind of who we are, we do run play action. Yeah. You know, but it's like, we got to, we got to figure that out because we know their D line that does come fast. Pause. And you have to just run right at that. To me, ain't no. Oh, he he has to respect run. the run. He doesn't no, respect nothing. It. Cute. Just go right at it like yep, some man. Let's line up. Go right and let's I go. Let's we don't. We don't run great on the right side, but you have to attempt that. Get them a heavy Keep dose running. of that right side run, or else ain't no play action. No way. Uh uh. Right. No, because they're yeah, gonna be on. all over his ass again. They're not playing that game with us. They know that's what we do. Yeah. So let's yeah. see the chess match. Do we run right at that then and make Reddick respect the run game? So if we do play action, he at least got to bite a little bit on the running back. So we'll yeah. see. That's all we need from McCaffrey, just to yeah. bite a little bit, and he got it. Yeah. 
Now you can give me, you know, two of those maybe the I O. Other than that, no, McCaffrey. <laughs> McCaffrey, McCaffrey, McCaffrey. Yeah. <laughs> How you feel about it, Juan? Well, I think uh, I think our DBs can be. I mean, our, our our wide receivers can beat their DBs. So the, if the weather co- cooperates and we can throw, I think we're going to be okay. I think it'll it'll just make us more dumb. Um, okay. Running McCaffrey yeah. should be fine too, because hey, that's proven. That's a proven, you know, proven quantity. We know he's going to get his yardage, and I think he'll get a lot of yardage against uh, Philly. Because I was watching a couple other games, and then these guys were just gouging, you know, ten yards, twelve yards, fifteen yards. It was just like mm-hmm. mm, shit, that, you know. We can do McCaffrey can do it too. So yeah. the run game should. Be in. And Mark, if we could have another one of those games where you know we we run 250 yards, you know, Man. And we pass times or you know, stupid like that, you know, I mean, I, I, I'd be fine with that too, you know. Absolutely. Every so often, I mean, Jesus Christ, poor McCaffrey be dying right now, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Every game. But Sorry. This is one of them games. This ain't no. This ain't no crying game. You gotta just yeah, come yeah. with it. Like you can yeah. deal with the pain later. Now we might smoke them and then lose three in a row, though. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we still got to play Baltimore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's Christmas. a whole different beast. Christmas. Baltimore worries. That's a, yeah. That's a whole yeah. different beast. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, let's get into this QB battle then. Since we're talking about Jalen Hurts and Brock Purdy handing the ball off and passing it to Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> Wait, now I, I got to hear my like boy it. on this <laughs> one because. I know you ain't you ain't let him breathe yet, and I'm still no. in your corner. But I'm you know what I said about him. Yeah, that's come on, keep. I <laughs> so got to see is, more. Keep going. This is this is how I feel about this QB battle right now. So, Brock, of course, everybody's on the high horse right now of everything he's done. Even just in the recent three weeks that we didn't, you know, got on another win streak, as we predicted. But the game was still the same way. We still were winning. Brock has played great when we're winning a game. But last week game got a little bit more interesting because he made a terrible mistake throwing the pick six right in the, right there, you know, less than 10 yards away down there. I mean, that's that can turn the game around quick. And what happened in the third quarter? We did nothing. Shanahan like took the ball away from him. We the game got boring for a little bit. We wasn't doing nothing, it was all them. And he threw that pass at the end, but it was like, okay, everybody wants to focus on that. But it's like, we wouldn't have been in that position in the first place if you hadn't made those mistakes. Let's say something goes wrong and there's a fumble because of the weather or there's penalties because of the weather or because we're just aggressive, anything like that, and we get behind. No one can say that they've seen Brock Purdy confidently lead a team back in a clutch situation and win a game. No one has seen that. Brock Purdy ain't even seen nope. himself do that. So I'm worried about that because he doesn't have the arm to really just chuck it downfield, like on point and do what he needs to do. We know he has to throw with anticipation. Like that is literally the quarterback he is, is an anticipatory quarterback. The league does know that, but you have to get off to a fast start. And I think the Eagles know that. Do I think that we are going to get off to a good start? Yes. But part of me wants to see Brock Purdy in a situation because he's going to come into those situations in the playoffs, Super Bowl, whatever. He's going to have to show up in those moments. Make like, Have you ever seen us run a, a deep post and he hit that man on the outside numbers? Mm, mm, mm. Nope. No, everything is in the middle of the field. It's always there. And if it goes anywhere outside, he's, it's something quick to McCaffrey so he can run out there. Yeah, yeah. Like, he doesn't do it constantly, but I want to say, was it the Jaguars game where he was lighting it up with Ayuk? Yeah. He had a few outside the numbers, so I think maybe that little break on his arm, whatever, mm-hmm. he he was feeling the juice. He's been all right since uh, after our bye after week. After the bye week. I, I, I'll give his arm like a little more credit than, you know, us who are still skeptical of him. I will give him a little more credit from what I've seen since the bye week. Yeah, so. since the bye week, he's been – I've been giving him praise. He's been a really great quarterback. You know, like I, I wouldn't – well, I won't say great. He's been a really good quarterback. 
Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are trying to like say he should be in the MVP conversation. I don't think that. I know his numbers look a no, lot no. better, but uh, I don't think that. I think that person is Christian McCaffrey. But absolutely, it's, yeah, that's... that MVP is if you take them off the team, is the team in the tank or the Niners? They're still successful. I think with yeah. another quarterback, he's not irreplaceable. So. Yeah, I'm yeah. not giving him that praise, but I am gonna say he's been playing pretty damn good when you yeah, factor it. in second year. That's it. Last pick in the draft. Everything his measurables about him. But like I said before, the proof is in the pudding, and he's gonna continue to either trend the way he's going or mm -hmm. he starts to fall off. But so far, from what I've seen, especially this year after yeah. getting cracked. Last year, I'm like, oh, he ain't afraid. When Jimmy got cracked, that was it. We didn't see that old Jimmy that we saw them damn last five games of that uh that 2017 season. So, up, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh. Right now, I'm like, Brock, keep it up. Yeah, I'm pulling for you because you on my team, and exactly, <laughs> you you look like exactly. you might be something if you continue this way. But I got to see more. And like you said, we ain't seen him come from behind successfully. So nope. we'll see. And that, it'll be that weather really... like it was in Cleveland. Because he did get him in field goal range. That was yeah. definitely Robbie Gold win, but it's moving. Robbie now, Gold was so. there. He would have been there. <laughs> so, you know, I got to say about I, that field goal Moody, range part. <laughs> you got to yeah. get in Moody's range. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about that field goal range in that game in particular is like yeah. he almost threw two picks in that drive. Yes, he did. They were dropped. So that's yeah. why I don't give him the full yeah, credit because yeah. Ayuk had to yeah, get yeah. a lot of yak on uh -huh. that drive. Like he still had to make the plays, and I get it. I get it. Yeah. But most fans in the Niners is just thirsty as hell for a quarterback because we had two of the greatest yeah, ever. That's literally exactly so. I what it get is. the the whole nostalgia with wanting to have you know a dominant quarterback, but everybody got to pump the brakes and let this thing play out. I agree a hundred percent that he ain't there yet. Well, this is where not I can there say yet. But like him being on his second year, that means a lot. Cause yeah, for I I haven't seen too many second year players that come out and doing what he's doing though. Looking as exactly. confident as he is, still making exactly. he's not afraid to make the throws. Mm -hmm. That's what I that's what I like about Brock Purdy. Yeah, he's not afraid yeah. to do it. It doesn't matter what yeah. people have been saying all week. He'll turn around and try to throw a forty yard bomb if he can. And if he do it, <laughs> it looks good. Our receivers adjust. They're good enough mm -hmm. to make it happen. And it's mm -hmm. been enough. It's been more than what Jimmy would need. And that's what we yeah, always yeah. felt. Was that whatever Jimmy had to bring to the table, we needed a little bit more. And I feel mm -hmm. like Brock is at least that. He's giving us that. A little yeah, bit I like more. to at least he throws the ball a little further than just the uh, you know, to the running back who's in the flat. You know, we saw yeah, a lot yeah. of that. I saw yeah. too much of that. <laughs> <laughs> too too much of the dink and dunk from Jimmy, man. Yeah. Brock well, actually I mean, does try. I wouldn't call him a dink and dunk quarterback because he does throw it out there. He looks past his first read, the first level. He tries to throw it as to the most open receiver, the furthest down the field. He looks there first, and then he yeah, brings yeah. it back in. And yeah, I, I'm yeah. okay with that. And he's accurate. so And get it to McCaffrey, please. <laughs> <laughs> McCaffrey, 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 McCaffrey. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> Live and direct Sunday. Uh -uh. Dude, give the ball to McCaffrey all day. But he, <laughs> he, he, we are not – he is not better than Jalen Hurts, I will say that. Though. You are? Because you're, I, I, I hope they line up. I hope they line up McCaffrey at quarterback and line up Purdy as a receiver. <laughs> or you want to see that play <laughs> wrong? Just to just to bring back <laughs> some nostalgia from the NFC Championship. Have, uh, yeah, have Brock on the side just sitting there watching them. <laughs> you know you to they could run that play they ran with Baker Mayfield when they were in Cleveland. When uh, yeah. I think it was Mike McDaniel and Kyle Shanahan together. And uh, Baker mm -hmm. ran over there and was talking to him on the side. Oh, yeah, he yeah, yeah. The I and then he was that. like, Shannon was like, go now. It looked like they was chewing him out. And then he sent them <laughs> yeah, on that yeah. go route real quick, and they had the backup <laughs> throw him a pass. Like, that was tight. I was like, okay. But I ain't really trying to have Man. a, you know, a cute and all that stuff. It's, no, I mean, no, no Mickey Mouse stuff this weekend. Let's uh -uh. go and it's, just handle business and walk this, out of here like, yeah. we didn't This come is our real game. game. Yeah. Like some uh -huh. real men, and we came here to play football today. That's we what I want to And I know Brock going to be ready for that. Yeah, but yeah. I got anything on Jalen? Well, right. just it. He's he's that he's that guy that has the the legs and the arm talent to 
to make things happen when it breaks down. And like I said, how calm he was against Buffalo, we cannot let him be that calm. You got to be figuring out where these guys is coming from. Right. And I want him on that level. And then I think now he's knocked down a notch. Because if Greenlaw gets that hit I'm talking about, <laughs> it changes everything. <laughs> and I'm going to let him have it if that happens. I'm yeah. telling you. I'm going to be behind Philly letting them know your quarterback is oh, scared man. to death of 57. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't you so be getting them hyped up over there, Mark, so they can be like, what? I'm positive. No, no. Hey, nope, this ain't my first Winnie Rose. I know how to do it, and I know when it's time to do it. Uh-uh. <laughs> nah. Okay. I love I, it. I, I know what time it is. That's the season I got bet you. right there. You heard I got it. you. Yeah. That's but the season I, bet. I, I think that's the key right there, because they do have a better quarterback than us, in my opinion. But I think he could be rattled, and that's how you do it. Give him the business, 57. Let's go, Dre. We need you. I agree. How you feel? How you feeling, Wong? You feeling? He, he Mark said he got, he got the leg, got the arm. He can make the throws. You know, he gets he gets out of that pocket. They run that draw, you know, that QB draw all the time. So he, mm-hmm. you're gonna see him run. You know? And we contain. You know, and uh, if 57 gets gets a few shots on him, you know, great. But I really think the pressure that the defense line gets on him is gonna be in his head. You know, hopefully that all game long. So we can't really get comfortable. You can't say, okay, I'm gonna, I, need, I, need a three, I need a three-step drop, and I need, you know, five seconds. But he's never going to get it. Or three or four seconds. He's not going to get the time. I think he's gonna. they're going to be living in his head and in the backfield. So, okay. So, but, you, so, you, so y'all really think our, our defensive line is going to overtake yeah. their good offensive line? Because we know how they since are. With they the got, or the they got the, Chase. Yeah, yeah exactly. We don't, Chase changed them up a lot. Do y'all think and we I can like stop the fish push? Do you think we can really stop that? No, absolutely not. I don't think we can. The the NFL is going to get sick of that and stop that. Somehow, some way, they're going to say that's illegal now. (laughs) Because no they, they start off first and nine. Like that's <laughs> who they like. That's what it is. If it's another, it's a yard or two. You can forget it. That, that, I ain't seen this stop so all the times. Like, I would never go there. If I see them line up in that, we in trouble. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. first down. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's touchdown. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't want to do that. that. <laughs> ain't no stopping that. The brotherly <laughs> shove. Oh my yeah, god! Right. Pounds, you know, twelve hundred pounds of man. You know, on the yeah, yeah, side. he don't even do nothing. He just falls <laughs> and just covers up, and everybody just pushes him in. I'm like, man. well, that fool. They say he squat over six hundred pounds, so that's that's wow. tough in there. I mean, he behind all that meat, and then he pushing him. So, uh, no, we cannot stop that. <laughs> but we don't want to see too many of those. Maybe once in the game, game then it's all right. right. I see you start I know y'all be the... seeing his stance right before he call hike every play. That's a funky looking stance. You gotta be squatting 600 with that oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. He's a squatter. <laughs> <laughs> he don't right. pay no rent, huh? <laughs> He's a nah, squatter. <laughs> He's a squatter. He found him a spot, and I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get into this coaching duel because we know we got two good coaches going up against each other. Mm, mm, we got mm. Kyle Shanahan, we got Nick Sirianni. And their styles are different, but also kind of similar. Because I feel like the Niners and the Eagles game, well, at least kind of more last year, is kind of similar because of the rushing game. And it, the quick passes, and every now and then we are opportunistic and get yak and, you know, deep plays or whatever. We don't really get deep plays like they do because they take shots because they have an elite wide receiver like A.J. Brown. Like We don't have – anything like him so they take those chances they have a deep threat because they have a speed threat ours is supposed to be danny gray but you tell me how many games you've seen him play we don't have that either (laughs) (laughs) so to me sirianni is still going to be he's going to have to be aggressive because i feel like we are going to come out and jump on him try to jump on him fast and they're known for not starting fast which is why they give up so many points Mm -hmm. so how do you think Wrong. How do you think our coaching duel, how is going to fare on Sunday? Well, only thing I have, I, I think coaching is almost, it's almost a wash. Only, for, only fear I have is when we get up, you know, if we get up on these guys, three touchdowns, then what is Shanahan going to do? You know, 
he just that guy cannot protect the lead. I don't know what is wrong with that dude. <laughs> was, what was the score at the half last week? And then we, like you said, we did do, we did zero in the third quarter. I could have called those down plays. No? I'm telling, he gets conservative. Like I didn't know where. It's yeah. like. You can predict what play is coming. Of course, it's going to be third and long every time if we run the ball first down, run the ball second down, and pass on third down. That's like the beginning times of football. Like, our offense looks so ancient at times. And I'm I'm like, you're supposed Great to be so us. creative. It's like, where, where is it? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I, I, okay. Let somebody else call the plays when that shit happens. I mean, you know, once we're up two, three touchdowns, cap, you know, look to the guy to the right. What do you think we should do here? <laughs> you let him call. I him. wish. I wish Kyle Shanahan was like that. He don't listen to me because I be yelling it. Put in Jordan Mason. Man, your oh. pace. How about we do a little Ronnie Bell? Oh. Let's get these young Thundercats. But yeah. he don't he listen. Time. He's still playing Madden with fatigue off and injuries off and giving it to McCaffrey. We already done punched him with that. Now change yeah. the pace. Make him think about something else. That's what he got to get out of his own ass with that stuff. Shanahan, yeah, even if- he's his own worst enemy because he, he game playing the shit out of a, a football game. But it's that, that coaching element in the end when you get in the feel of a game and like, oh, maybe I'll go here right now and hit him where it hurt. Sirianni, he lets his horses go. They go for Rolling it on fourth down. Yep. All, them, them boys, I see that's why they come back because the coach ain't trying to be a puppet to these guys and say this is what should happen, at least with the quarterback. He's right. letting his quarterback go play. And that's kind of my only gripe with Shanahan, with Purdy, is such a control freak. How is this going to pan out? Because he was like that with Jimmy. And then eventually that fizzled out. So I'm hoping Shanahan, so far, so good, at least as far as in the wins, like that pass he threw to the Jaguars, how that was the worst pass ever. Mm-hmm. That touchdown to Ayu. Yeah, when he put issue. over across his body, all them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That happens in games. And then it, those, it worked out. It's the players. Yeah. It's the players, and they they made it work, and you got to praise that stuff and encourage it so that these guys, when they get in these tight games, they will do something extraordinary outside of the script and make it happen. And I think that's what the Eagles coach kind of has over Shanahan. But as far as scheme, just like Rob said, it's pretty much a wash, but we'll see how these horses is. And my thing with this game, especially with Shanahan, he's got to – I know they're gonna jump on them. I got a, I got a, a, a real good feeling we're gonna jump on them quick. Yeah, they start. And now, so what do you sense. do when you have that lead? Yeah. Like, yeah. are you gonna continue to do the same thing over and over, and then eventually they start stopping you, and then now next thing you know, you're in a dog fight with these fools, and then these other guys are loose because they coach let them play loose, and our coach is now tripping over there because you didn't get it off on your back foot. You know, the IU coming over that middle, and now he done overthrew it to the safety and all that madness. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm-hmm. You got to have a change of pace if you're going to be that type of uh, coach where you're not going to let your players just play the game. You're going to dictate everything. Well, dictate it to where some of these other guys who haven't been playing that much now they got a burst of energy when they get in, and this other team, the defense has been on the field playing against McCaffrey. Now you get a little bit of Jordan Mason action. Now you get a little Ronnie Bell play or uh, uh, the other boy that runs the uh, reverses like Debo. Ray Ray. Fat McLeod. Yeah, Ray Ray. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Throw those in there late in the game when we already up a little bit and then we pop something big on them. That's going to make Philly's butts tight. And, and that's they're tired. Just gonna, man, they've been playing against McCaffrey all game. That's right. I'm just saying, they tired. So and it's like give them something else. Some Tell yeah, they're gonna they mind's gonna be spinning. Telling yeah, I'm telling you. But and see, you can bring McCaffrey back. Yeah, and but see, that. that's the issue with, with Shanahan, though. It's like I feel like my gripe with him is that I feel like he has a scripted play or like a few series that he has scripted a hundred percent already out. Yeah. But the moment something happens where it deters the script, all of a sudden. <laughs> It's like we don't know what to do anymore. 
Let, let yeah. it let us get a holding penalty. How many yeah, times yeah. Have we got a holding and then got a first down on that position? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. it's like over. It's like, no, mm -hmm. I gotta start first and ten. I gotta start first and ten. Yeah. And if I don't do that, then I'm like, I don't know what to do. And it, it goes to your point when the third and fourth quarters come in those smart teams, those smart coaches that are aggressive, they start to change things in game because yeah. they have a feel. Yeah. That's where we get in trouble because I'm not sure if he has that. I'm not sure. I haven't because really seen did, it. I think he'd have some Super Bowls by now. He would definitely have one. Yeah. That was <laughs> Tom. Was that was yeah, that? he would definitely have one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, I think we should we gotta throw those guys in, if nothing else, just to put it on tape. So guys have to look at it and say, okay, what happened here on this play? Where why why is their personnel different here? What are we missing? You know? Yeah, yeah. And then they have to, they have to account for it. So now you have to start. Well, hell, give him a cow or break every once in a while. And then you throw these guys in with some speed, you know, here and there. And then that changes, you know, the the, the dynamics of the field. Now the DBs are mm -hmm. maybe a little they're maybe they get caught off, like you said, get caught off guard. Like, hey, holy Christ, this guy's quick. I'm not I was just looking at, you know, Debo. Now I'm looking at this guy, you know, and I'm not yeah. uh, adjusting. Right. Or you just, you know, like you said, you get into that groove. I'm gonna see McCaffrey yeah. at this point here. I'm gonna see Ayuk at that, that point there, and you just kind of know it's coming, but now. You know, Bell, McLeod, you know, Gray. Shit. I mean, these guys are, are burgers. Hey. Let them run. You know, let give them a touch. Try. Give let them a touch. Let their feet let go. Let's things. see what happens. Like, you, yeah. you just never know. Just mm -hmm. never yeah. know. Like, if we're going to play, a, if we're going to get rid of gold and get a rookie kicker, then why yeah. won't you let the rookie playmakers make a chance to yeah. make a play? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. what needs exactly. to happen. Yeah. As far as I've seen, these guys haven't done anything weird when they're on the field. They're not like loose cannons or anything. You know, they they play within the structure of, of, of the game and do what they're asked to do. Mm -mm. So yeah, just do a little more. You know, these guys are gonna have to play sooner or later. We can't keep everybody. You know, no. Yeah, what if we can't, and that's the yeah, thing. We need to see this talent. So when yeah. that day comes, when we do have yeah. to let go of some of all these key pieces, that we already mm -hmm. have the talent in house. They already have the experience. They didn't been somewhere. They didn't been mm -hmm. in important games tight games playoff games that, that all that experience is necessary you think brock party would be as good as he is today if he didn't have the experience that he had last year when we were on that yeah, playoff yeah. run like yeah, that gave him exactly. so much more confidence because he wasn't this good of a quarterback in college yeah no, yeah he, he wasn't this guy yeah yeah, yeah he I, wasn't you know, this guy at all this might be premature but you know he does kind of remind me of uh, montana in some ways you know, ah, similar, yeah. You know, stop, you know, stop, stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Hear me out, hear me out. Just, I mean, similar uh, build. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I want to hear this. Strength, you know, a feel for the, a feel he for doesn't the. doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> well, hey, go he far. was the greatest. I can't, I can't, I can't say nothing. No, he wasn't, but there are Party some. Ain't there one of them. Y'all got to stop <laughs> disrespecting that man. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, I, all right, I, so, I all right, so wrong. This is what I got to say to that. So. <laughs> Joe Montana, his nickname was Joe Cool. Joe and Cool. Joe Cool for a reason. And it's mainly because he come used to back. come back. Mm -hmm. And he was cold, blooded, ice cold, focused, lasered in. It don't matter mm -hmm. how he played all game. At the end of the mm -hmm. game, he mm -hmm. came through mm -hmm. clutch. As of right now, him and Brock are a complete 180 because he plays good in games that were winning. It's no issue. We haven't seen them that's, in games, like I said earlier, when coming from behind. So I can't call anybody Joe Montana unless they have that, that, that clutch Montana. comeback trait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That clutch comeback trait, that is <laughs> different. Did you ever watch the, did you huh? see Montana live or did you guys watch some tapes? <laughs> Just ask me. Hey, I, I was I see, born in 77. Yeah, see, and I was 85, oh, so I saw some of it, and I saw I got, exactly – Two the moment where him Super and Bowls Steve Young my had belt. to switch around. Mine was more okay. of a Steve, like I'm a Steve guy, Steve Young, because I that was the majority of what I saw. But yeah, I know our history. I've seen a lot, and I did see some of the games. Shoot, he did it in in uh, Kansas City. <laughs> like when he left after that, when he went over there, he was still leading comeback drives. I can't let y'all disrespect Joe with yeah, Purdy. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Girl, I wasn't saying we're just trying him right next to Montana. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just can't even mention that name with Purdy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Because I don't I just, do Steve I, like that. Steve, you number two. Sorry, brother. 
<laughs> and I know Steve <laughs> feel like he was the best Niner quarterback ever, but Joe was. No, Joe was, was, and I'm not putting Purdy on that level. Uh-uh. No, he ain't bro. ready for that. I think, he's a, I think he's pretty solid. I mean, just, I mean, like you said, second year, drafted last. I mean, he's got a lot of a lot of going to do. But I really think, yeah, you know, we have I, we've really found something. You know, yeah. And not only we'll that, let it play just, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, he's. I mean, I, I mean, it may be earlier to say myself, but I would say he's the best quarterback we've had since Jeff Garcia. Since him, yeah, okay. yeah, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, so far, so far, yeah, yeah so yeah. far. I'm just early, like I said, but so far, I and I mean, that's that's just a step above Cap, just as a quarterback play. But Cap went to a Super Bowl, so he's yeah, up in that echelon. In my uh 49er quarterback, Lord, right I, I'm that. sorry, I mess with guys who, yeah, who go to the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, right Brock ain't been there, he ain't been Not there yet, yet. so yeah, he's been there. I, heard. That changed. That? that changed. He might have been there last year if he didn't get hurt. Possibly, maybe, maybe but he got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the fact. And that's their football. You know, like he that's got hurt. You know, a part of it is staying healthy and being able to perform. That's that's a no, part of it. You know. I, yeah, I agree. All right, well. and get through this game healthy. Cause I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Did he have a strong <laughs> game this game, which I'm kind of expecting him to, be just based off the stats and how everything been lined up. Yeah, but you know he'll he'll get an extra notch in my book, but there's still things that I have to see, and I don't care what anyone says. I have Man, to see okay. how you, you throw for about 230 yards and maybe another 25 to 30 on the ground. He had a great game with no picks. Yeah, yeah. great game. That would be great. Couple, great yeah, game. That would yeah. be a great game. I, I could I could see one to uh Kittle and uh one to McCaffrey. Easy. Do that. Yeah. And if I use us to get one, then that means we're doing really well. Man, if he get one, <laughs> that means we're doing really well. Because you can best believe like oh, Shanahan, man. the way that he calls plays is based off of trust. So exactly. that's why you saw that third quarter that we had last game because Brock threw a pick six. The trust is gone. Yeah, yeah. You saw yeah. how he was with Jimmy Garoppolo. As soon as yeah. he made those terrible mistakes and those clutch moments, the trust wasn't there. He was done with him so much so yeah. that he gave our whole future for a guy that's not on our team. So, you know, <laughs> he was done. He was well, done. Santa hands, they cut throat. Yeah. They cut we talk throat. about it all the time, Ronnie. All the time. <laughs> they cut throat. <laughs> All the time. Play. Like that's, so, Brock, like that. no turnovers this weekend, baby. Okay, well, since we're talking about some of the predictions, <laughs> let's get into the final piece. <laughs> this, this final piece to wrap up the show, score prediction. Yeah. Now, it ain't just score. You can say what predictions you got for the game, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, however you feel like the game is going to go, whatever. So, go ahead, Mark. I want to definitely hear yours. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, my bad. Man, because y'all know, it, hey, even though I'm a fan and I'm going to be biased, of course we're winning. But at the same time, like I said, I got a pulse for my team. And I feel like this is one of those business as usual games. I like kind of this pregame stuff that they not feeding into the talking that they was into mm -hmm. before uh, the game. It, it led up to this season and, you know, our guys was kind of whining about not having a quarterback and then uh, whatever that happened. But you move past it. Hassan Reddick has something to say. So I'm like, OK, they trying to bait us. Damn, uh, A.J. Brown, he, he trying to get on uh, Debo. I'm like, OK, yeah. Our guys yesterday was like, we ain't talking about that. We'll see them Sunday. Yep. So they got that mentality I'm looking for right now. Because this is a big game. I think it's even bigger for us than them. Yeah, they take a win we against us. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And if and they, they beat us, they one. almost they, guarantee they, them being number one. Yes. They still in first place with a loss. We know we chasing them. Yep. And you got to chase them down. So I think it starts – with our defense putting that hit on Hurt, I think McCaffrey, 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 McCaffrey turns into if if we play the way I think we're gonna play 
similar to that Dallas game. 31-17. 31-17 Niners. I, like I think it, we go in there and bully them a little bit. And we got two scores. Two score like W. It. And it it it's easy work if they do what they're supposed to do. I think McCaffrey and that that pressure on Hurts and make him uncomfortable and hit him when he gets out. Yeah. Do your little brotherly shove. We'll right. see. I think, I, I, I think it's our game out there. And I'm going. They can't show me up. They can't show me <laughs> up out there. Let's go, boys. I'm sitting okay. behind the damn Eagles. So let's go. 31 17 Niners. 31 17 Niners. All right. Yeah. All right, wrong. Let's see what you got. How you feel like this going? Mark, you and I are thinking the same thing. I think we're I think we're gonna win this game. I think it's ours yeah. to lose. I think uh yeah. I think our defensive line is going to be all over Hurts this, this, this weekend. My prediction was going to be 33-17. Just, you know. Keep it. 33. Hey. <laughs> so, hey. I love it. I love because it. they're going to score. We're not going to stop them. We're not going to keep them out of the end. So we're going to – Swift is going to get in. Hurts may get loose. You know, maybe they hit Brown. I don't know. They're going to hit – they're going to score. We're not going to stop that. Are they going to get into the 20s? Not if our defensive line does what it's supposed to do. And I think our back end is looking a lot better now. You know, so you know, I think uh, I think we're gonna. I think it's our game to lose. I really do. You know, from what I've seen from uh, Philly's tape, they they're good. But you, you're right that it's probably the weakest ten and one record I've seen. I looked at all the scores. I go, why are these guys so close? Why are these dog teams so close to them? They're getting away, but they're just getting away. They're you know? just they're getting, getting away. Team. Yeah, every week they should have definitely yeah. lost the last two games. This yeah, game so should I'm, be. Who's gonna be yeah. sold number one? That's what today. That's what this game so should be. Ooh. But Ooh. It's not. I would have made it even bigger. But that's it how would have. It would have right. put more pressure yeah. on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It's true. The, ch- the chase are always under more pressure than the chasers, right? You know, we got nothing yeah. to lose. We're already back. You know, yeah. They got to hold on to the only place they can hold on to one. You know, so. Yep. Okay. Thirty-three seventeen. Both of, y'all, both of y'all got them under twenty points. I like that. I, initially, yeah. I gave them three more points than what y'all said, just because of how opportunistic they are. And I know that we commit penalties when they take deep shots. So that's the only reason I was going to give them 20, but I was going 34 20 because I thought we was going to win by two scores, regardless. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm always going to put us in the 30s. I really don't see how they will stop win. our offense. I just really don't see it because yeah. the other offenses they played against was not as power as powerful as ours. And then on top of that, their defense, like I said, it's, it hasn't been the greatest, and they haven't played a defense like us yet. We're going to match them with physicality. So that's going to shock them. And while they're getting shocked, like early, like you said, Mark, we're going to be yeah. giving the ball to McCaffrey and doing our quick plays or whatever to get our lead. But the question is, like you said, Ron, is how we're going to maintain it. So that's why I said 34-20 because mm-hmm. just letting Shanahan have a brain fart on a possession or two or whatever, <laughs> you know, and that's, that was my Absolutely. prediction. That was why. Yeah. Yep. And Wilkes is down on the field. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Changed everything, huh? <laughs> I, you know what? I, I don't know what that's worth. I think it must have made it must have closed the gap between the players and the coach because now they look better. And I don't know if it's just coincidence because you know we we finally woke up, lost three in a row. He's trying to wake up. Maybe that was the wake up call. Or is it uh-huh. he down there and he's engaging with them differently? I don't know. They're you know? professionals. Go play the game. You don't need no rah-rah, but if that's what yeah. it takes, I'll take it. I get it. Whatever. I get it. But sometimes that, 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 that emotional and psychological factor is huge. You know, and see, and I don't know what it gave see, but, uh, Marlo, I, don't, I feel yeah. like you on that. I feel like you on that wrong because I don't think it matters where he is, but like – Professional wise, I don't think it matters where he is. The same play is going to get called regardless. But yeah, on your aspect, wrong is I feel like that psychological part. Like I know seeing having D'Amico down there, having Robert yeah. Sala down there, you know, they all hype and jumping around with the players and stuff. It does something different to you where it, yeah. it makes you want to go out there. For instance, the Raiders, they lost their coach all of a sudden, but they fired their coach. They had the interim dude come in. Another black coach that they love. I mean, the first day he Devontae Adams said, I'm a, I'm ready to run through a wall for you. 
Yeah, that yeah. means something. You know what I'm nah, saying? Very emotional game. So yeah. I get that aspect. Of it is. It, and that's the only I, thing that I can see. But that's it. I, yeah, I think that, that's it. That, uh, there's some emotion to it, but I, I just couldn't feed into that. I'm like, oh, man, that's yeah, I didn't the give it too much Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> no, y'all need to play better, and they have been, and I think it carries over in Philly. Play better. Go get these boys. I can't wait. Yeah, and that, and on top of that, the offensive part, it's like, how I want to put this. So I know you say we're going to play good on Sunday, and we're going to jump out on them quick, and I – Thoroughly, thoroughly believe that. My main issue with the whole entire game is I wish Shanahan will prepare us better in a weather situation. He doesn't like to prepare with a wet ball or anything like that. And all the other coaches do. You think that has anything to do with anything? Well, yeah. It's kind of stupid. Not to, you know what's coming. He doesn't like to prepare with a wet ball. He says, he says it makes them get in their head. <laughs> Oh, the cutthroat Santa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> See, that, was, that was like a side thing for me. That was bothering me. I'm like, why would you do this? Just wet it. Put it in a bucket of water and give just it to him. Just wet the what ball. Huh? <laughs> ten Damn, plays with a wet ball, for Christ's sake. Just ten plays. Just run it, you know? Just give it a try. You don't know everything. Well, just like in our line of work, if you're not good at something, who is it on to get good at it? So. Hey, go go can, figure it out. I guess you just get a bunch of guys together if you're party and go put a ball in a bucket and throw it around, I guess. How hard is that? So uh, whatever. Nah, receivers, gotta, it receivers gotta deal with it too, right? That's a heavier wet ball coming at you. I mean, that thing weighs a ton already. You know, yeah, another, yeah. Yeah. It, the way it's spinning is different. Like it's you know, it's yeah. yeah. So to me, you know, whatever that it shouldn't be an issue because y'all can go do that. You don't need coach for that. So whatever. I don't want to take time out of the day for that. Nah, -uh. you think I want to go see you hook up to a high pressure hydrant? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> to the apartment. <laughs> oh damn! Okay. You want to fill up these green bins? Absolutely not. Boss, <laughs> <laughs> you're on your own. <laughs> you yeah. need proficiency at it. You go do that <laughs> and have fun and clean the saw when you get back. <laughs> thank you <laughs> crazy dude but thank y'all for coming through on the show man i'm glad y'all took an hour out of y'all time to come man, heck to yeah absolutely make that this wild awesome. yeah so, sir i That's definitely plan on about. having y'all on more just because y'all know what y'all talking about and this is a good time so yes it yeah. is i appreciate you brother i have one suggestion for our next cast okay every time mark says mccaffrey we take a shot <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we won't no people. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate y'all for coming through. I'm gonna holler at y'all in the next one. Right.